everyone we're back uh second video of 2023 actually and you guys loved the first one you guys loved the plush collection thank you all so much for the support and thank you all for 17,000 subs that's a great way to start the year off 3,000 more till 20k that's that's insane but one question that you guys all seem to be asking is where are the marvel customs where are they some of you may like it some of you may not <laughs> But I did make them. So today, this is what this video is about. Keeping up with the momentum, we're going to make a plush collection of the Marvel characters. So hopefully this does well. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to start off with the first uh, first Avengers, like the OG6. And then we're going to do... Um, I don't know how we're going to do it. We're just going to do it as we go along. But yes. So let's start off with the one who... Um, this, the Marvel Cinematic Universe wouldn't be what it is without this character and that of course is Iron Man um Freddy is Iron Man <laughs> I just chose it because they are like the main characters of their respective universes but yeah after that we got Bonnie as Captain America uh he has a magnetic shield very cool uh then we have Chica Black Widow we also have Foxy Thor we have Hawkeye endoskeleton and Dreadbear Hulk but if the Hulk were to revert back to Bruce Banner it would be Golden Freddy um you guys can obviously see that the original six Avengers are the original six of animatronics from the first game so we have Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie the Bunny, Chica the Chicken, Foxy the Fox, uh Foxy the Pirate Fox, the endoskeleton and I guess Golden Freddy if he is in normal human form. <laughs> But yeah, I really like all these guys. They're really cool. Uh, these were the first ones I made. So, uh, they're kind of... I guess Iron Man is the only one that's kind of outdated. I could make him better, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, here is the original Six Avengers. Now, moving on to um, some other, uh, other Avengers <laughs> that came later on. Moving on, we have Cap's two best friends, which, of course, is friend from the 1940s the winter soldier in wakanda they call him the white wolf which is why he is wolf in this universe and then next up we got sam wilson the falcon i just made a random bird like character um because i felt like well he already has the name of an animal so why not just make like a fnaf style uh bird i guess falcon looking thing <laughs> uh these guys are both based off their looks in the falcon and the winter soldier show of course sam is based off of before he became captain america but yeah then we got tony's best friend war machine aka Rhodey. uh he is uh toy freddy in this universe next up we got tony's i guess son because he did technically create him or well ultron created this guy but tony put uh jarvis into him which is of course vision who is entered in this universe after vision we have wanda the scarlet witch um in this universe she is baby because of the red hair i thought it was very fitting and these guys are both from sister location so i thought they're like little um they would look nice together you know what i mean baby and entered after scarlet witch we have the king of wakanda himself the chala rest in peace chadwick boseman um yeah your legacy was very very well um i guess shown off in the new black panther movie definitely recommend watching that but yeah we have t'challa who i guess is candy in this universe um i would have made him from a candy pattern but i didn't have that at the time so i just had to improvise and go with the freddy one um but yeah there is king t'challa and then of course we have uh another one of tony's sons i guess uh his adoptive son we have peter parker spider-man who is bb in this universe uh, this is actually a plush i bought uh, I just thought he looked like a lot like BB, like the same pattern and everything, so I just decided Spider-Man is BB. Uh, but yeah, we have all these guys so far. Next up, we have the two who didn't become Avengers until very, very later on, but one of them actually helped Captain America fight in Civil War, and that person is Ant-Man. Um, Toy Bonnie in this universe. I imagine if he turned small, he would be like Bon Bon, just a tiny little dude. But yeah, here is Ant-Man. After Ant-Man, we have Ant-Man's, uh, I guess, girlfriend? 
I don't know. I, it's it's hard to tell if they're dating, but they're they're very close. <laughs> we have the wasp, who is Toy Chica. Uh, her wings are also removable. You can tell by the little strap right there. Um, but then, last but not least, we have Doctor Strange, Doctor Stephen Strange. Oh, his cloak fell off, but yeah, here he is, the puppet. I feel like the puppet is the most mystical uh, character in all of FNAF, uh, so that's why I went with Strange. <laughs> I can't put his cloak on, um, but yeah, here we go, let me just, uh, whatever. But yeah, there is Doctor Stephen Strange. But yeah, here's all the Avengers we have so far. Uh, moving on to the more cosmic side of things, um, so Guardians of the Galaxy and other characters like that. Before I move on to the cosmic uh, type of characters, I actually forgot I had two street level heroes. Um, one of them being Daredevil. Very nice. He is uh, Withered Golden Freddy because uh, he doesn't have eyeballs. <laughs> He's blind. I, I don't know who he could be. I my best guess is Withered Golden Freddy. I just thought the Freddy pattern fit Daredevil a lot. Uh, very good. Uh, very well. Sorry, I can't speak today. But after that, we have Spider-Man's homemade suit. So I guess this is just BB from a younger time. This is the first suit that he made um, before Tony Stark gave him the uh, new spider suit, this one. But all right, now moving on to the cosmic uh, characters. First up, we got Captain Marvel, who is Glamrock Chica. Uh, Captain Marvel is from the 80s, uh, so I just felt like she gave off the most Captain Marvel energy. Um, of course, Glam Rock Chica is based off the 80s with all the glam rock uh, kind of style. <laughs> but yeah, uh, also this little hair on Glam Rock Chica's head reminded me of, um, it reminded me of the, uh, like when Captain Marvel wears her helmet, she kind of has like a mohawk type of thing. So it kind of just reminded me of that, which is why I chose to go with her as Captain Marvel. I don't think I've shown this one off yet, um, but yeah. Okay, and then for the Guardians of the Galaxy. We have, of course, Star-Lord. I haven't shown any of these off, now that I think about it. We have Star-Lord, he is Withered Freddy. Uh, I don't know why, just fits in my head. After that we have Gamora, Phantom Chica in this universe. After that we have Drax. I don't know who he could be. <laughs> uh, um, who could he be? I don't know, you guys decide. I'm just, I just make the characters, you guys can decide that. And then we have Groot, um, Woodland Toy Freddy. I don't have Rocket yet. I haven't made Rocket. That's the only Guardian from the original five that I'm missing. I also have to make Mantis, Nebula, Kraglin, Yondu, and who else is missing? I think that's all for the Guardians. But yeah, I have these four so far. And then now moving on to phase four characters, which is a lot of fun because I have a lot of those. So, Phase 4 brought a lot of interesting characters to the table, um, but we're going to start off with one that we have seen before, just he has a new look, and that is Sam Wilson's Captain America. Um, he also has a magnet in this hand, uh, so if I get Cap Shield from over here, put it on there, it just stays on. I have to make his wings still, so um, yeah, I have to make the wings, but other than that, this is what the Captain, the new Captain America will look like. I think he looks very nice. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one. But after that, we have uh, Bruce Banner's cousin, She-Hulk. She is bigger uh, than a normal plush. You can see right there. I wanted to make her almost as big as a Sanchi, but not quite. So this is what I went with. So yeah, let's put her over here. Oh yeah, and she is Roxanne uh, because I feel like. Uh, Filling out the Phase 4 characters with the Glam Rocks is really fitting because they are new. Uh, like the Glam Rocks are the new, newest versions of the animatronics in the games, and these guys are the newest versions of the Avengers, I guess. So, yeah. After She Hulk, we have Iron Heart, uh, who is Heartsick Baby. I still have to make the wings. Um, but, yeah, that's who she is. In my head canon, at least. After that, we got the smartest man alive, Reed Richards. Uh, entered again. This was actually the first one that I made uh, out of all of these This is the first Marvel custom that I made, but I didn't have everything planned out So I just made him entered because I thought hey he can stretch out like spaghetti so entered fitting I might change him to Molten Freddy 
because that could also work, but we shall see. Right now, he's just another entered from another universe, but just blue. After that, we have Moon Knight, man who every time he wakes up, <laughs> uh, he turns into someone else, I guess. I, don't, I was trying to make a every day I wake up, you know, like that song. I was trying to make a joke like that, but couldn't. This is actually based off his comic book appearance, not his uh, show appearance, because I felt like the show one was very difficult. I tried three different times to make that and failed every single time. But after Moon Knight, we have Moon Knight's alter ego, Steven Grant, uh, Mr. Knight, hey. I haven't shown this one off. Uh, I think he looks very nice. He has a lot of layers to him. He has this vest layer and this coat layer. A lot of layers to this guy. But he is... Um, these guys are... Well, this one would be Moon, of course. And this one is, I imagine, would be Sun. Like the happier, kind of uh, better vibe. Like the happy vibe one is Sun. So yeah, we have Sun and Moon. <laughs> and then lastly, for the Phase 4 heroes, we have... Swamp Thing. He is Orville Elephant, I guess. That's what he looks like. Uh, but Sanchi Size. He came out in Werewolf by Night. Uh, Swamp Thing. No, no, Man Thing. This is what happens when DC and Marvel have characters that are super, super alike, but they just. Man Thing. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. I called you Swamp Thing. That's the wrong character. But yeah, here we have. All the phase four characters starting off with cap and then we have these i actually don't have as much as i thought but yeah now finally we can move on to some villains you know what i realized i'm horrible at these plush collections because i always forget someone i forgot miss marvel miss marvel is happy frog in my universe i just feel like she fits very well sorry i forgot you <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry mon Bellani. uh <laughs> but yeah um here is miss marvel looks pretty nice but uh for this last slot right here we're gonna put the king from another land namor uh namor the submariner is that his full name i don't know but we have namor um yeah he is sunken toy bonnie i just felt like it very it fits very well uh i like him a lot namor is actually one of my favorite characters uh because in the new movie he is latino kind of he's like He's from, well, the actor is Mexican, which I feel like I'm represented being a darker skin person, even though I'm very pale for a Mexican. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we have Namor. And then after that, we have the Goblin. We have Green Goblin. I do have a bunch of Spider-Man rogues uh, as customs, but I don't know where they went. After the move, they disappeared. <laughs> but yeah, we have Green Goblin. I guess Nightmare Foxy. We have... Doctor Doom as Springtrap because Springtrap is very smart. Willie Matthew is a smart dude So yeah, that's why Doctor Doom is Springtrap even though do we have another Springtrap here? No, we don't. Okay. Well, yeah, here's Doctor Doom and then last but not least we have Modok Here he is and Lolbit is Modok. I just felt like this silly character fit very well with um with Modok um, Both of their names ha are like um what's the word uh anagrams i don't know but <laughs> you know what i mean where modok's name is m period o period d period o period k period and it stands for something whatever that's called uh, i forgot what it's called but yeah so does lulbit lulbit has the same type of name but yeah so yeah that is my whole marvel collection very small a lot smaller than my um normal fnaf plus collection of course but that is because I made every single one of these, except for the two Spider-Men. But yeah, here they are. We have some villains right here. We have the original six. Some uh, side additional characters that are more important now. We have the Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel, the Phase 4 characters, and yeah, we have Man-Thing. I'm sorry, buddy. I called you by the wrong name. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more of these guys. I haven't made one in a long time. Um, but yeah, if you want me to, if you want me to make more Marvel customs, just let me know. I'll be happy to do it. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.